Mimi. Get this. Your skunk of a salesman, Ryan Lavery, decided to ignore a little thing called conflict of interest. Got himself placed on Brooks' jury. Thanks to Dimitri. It's like handing a couple of chimps a hand grenade, you know? They nearly blew the entire case. You know what? I don't care. I'm ovulating. I beg your pardon? Ovulating. Me and the egg. I'm ready for donor 517. What, now? Yeah. No, 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 no. You can't do that now. Now's not a good time. I gotta audition weather girls. What do weather girls have to do with me getting pregnant? Well, I wanna go. I wanna be with you. This is a lot more than introducing a couple cells with some DNA and sending them off on a blind date to a genetic square dance, you know? <laughs> You're gonna create a miracle here. I'm serious, you know, a new life, pink cheeks, ten fingers, ten toes. You're bringing new life into the world, you know, I'd like to be there. It is going to be a new life. You betcha. And thanks to Donor 517, ugh. Oh, six foot one, 180 pounds, fair complexion, blue eyes, incredibly intelligent, and I betcha he's very debonair like you. What? <laughs> Donor 517 and I are going to make a beautiful baby together. it's time absolutely did a little kit that they gave me and voila well then by all means my fertile little liebchen let's get you to the clinic that was my destination sig good luck with your auditions uh -uh, they're canceled oh no oh yes i meant what i said i am going with you you need somebody there you, you need a weather girl no, i don't I'll, I'll i'll do the weather myself what in mascara a little dress it wouldn't be the first time scaring Look, me the station can get a weather girl any day i'm not about to let my best friend get knocked up without me Thank you for wanting to be there. I don't want to be there. I am going to be there. Somebody has to watch the station while I'm gone. Well, we'll pull the plug. We'll call it a day. Tell everybody we're experiencing technical difficulties. Uh, you, look, you made my point, okay? It's going to be five minutes. I don't need anybody to hold my hand. I mean, besides, the clinic's done this a thousand times. I'm sure the clinic has, but you haven't. Look, you can pretend all you want to that this is nothing but a calm, cool, executive decision, but I know better because I was there when you first started talking about getting pregnant and I saw the look in your eye. Now, I am one of the most important people in your life by default. It follows that I'm going to be one of the most important people in this baby's life. And what's the big deal? You know, I, I, let me come along. I want to be there. Please? You are important to me. You always have been. But there is nothing saying that this is going to fly today. I don't need you to hold my hand. I'm a big girl. I'm not saying you're not a big oh, girl. I'm just saying you can't have the Why can't you be no. Estrogen alert. I got girls in cosmetics all over the green room. So, see, look, you can't bail. They're here. All right, send them some coffee. I'll be down in a minute. Double time. They're down there right now, scoping each other out like a bad slasher movie. It ain't funny. <laughs> get out of here. Would you just go? Please. I'm going, I'm going. Okay. Sorry. Hey, hello. Anybody Bingo. help? Oh, what? what? Listen, I'll make you a deal. Take Chuckles here with you. He's a bad substitute for me, I know, but at least he's a doctor. Ooh, what's, going, what's going on here? He thinks I need a chaperone. I have a hot date with 517. Oh, oh, it's time. Yeah. Are you going? Yeah. Not by yourself, she's not. Well, what about your mother? Where's she? I left her a message. Under a bar stool? No, that's not funny. She'll be there. You're not sure of that. He's right. Oh, both of you. You too? Look, you need an escort. That would be me. What the heck? Look at this. You know what this is? Huh? Besides grotesque? It's a fertility goddess. I saw in a little shop on my way home from work yesterday. So? So? It would, Eliza, don't you know what this means? This, this little gal was staring at me through the window, and she said, take me to my... <laughs> it's like, it's, it's a what, what, kismet. Why don't she just oh. sacrifice a chicken? Oh. It's a heck of a way to start a kid. <laughs> I'm the godfather. I thought I'd just start my job a little bit early. <laughs> okay, um, you can go with me. Good. Great. Okay, let's go now. Not so well, fast, Leapson. What do you mean he's the godfather? What's me, that about? Me and Allie. I'll fill you in a little bit later, Chuck. Yeah, I'll tell you what. You can name the baby. How do you feel about 517 Colby? It's about a minute. Yes, isn't it? Hi. I'm Liza Colby. Oh, if you're ready for me, I'm ready for 517. Didn't somebody call you? What do you mean? A fuse blew in our cooling system this morning, and your donor specimen was prematurely thawed, Miss Colby. Defrosted? I'm afraid so. But that's all right, right? I mean, we could still go ahead. I think what she's trying to say is that this sample is unusable. You could uh, choose another donor. No. 
No, I, I want 517. I'm ovulating. Do you know what that means? Yes, that means I'm hormonal. Yeah. It means I'm not pleading. Are you going to do something before I scream? I thought you'd say that, Ms. Colby. So I called number 517 and explained the problem. He's offered to make a special trip here to give another donation. Oh. He should be here any minute. Okay. Then we can run the test. And as long as everything's okay, we can go right ahead with the procedure. Here now? Yes, yeah, soon. Mm -hmm. Will I get to meet him? Oh, no, ma'am. We insist on total donor anonymity. You won't see him at all. Oh, maybe just a, a peek. Just to make sure that, you know, he's saying what uh, he's supposed to no, be saying. No, we can't. I'm sure you understand. Yeah. Okay. But you've, you've, you've seen him, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, good looking and built and IQ for days. I typed his description into the computer myself. Oh, maybe mm -hmm. just a peek, like through a door. Honestly, Miss Colby, you have to follow the rules. Now, why don't you wait in the next cubicle? The doctor will be in in a minute. Fascist. Liza. What? A little peek isn't going to hurt. It's not the end of the world. You heard what she said. Let's just wait. Can you wait with me? Yes, yes, of course. Brian Lavery, oh. how much more do I get for speedy delivery? I'm sorry to call you at the last minute, Mr. Lavery. This has never happened to us before. Oh, don't you worry about it. I'm an on-demand kind of guy. Good, because your recipient is already here. She's in that? Mm. What's she like? Tall, short, blonde, brunette, what? Mr. Lavery, please. Time is of the essence. Our client wants a baby. We don't want to let her down. One baby coming up. We'll chat about my fee later. Mm. Yes. I can't believe this. I'm gonna have a baby. <laughs> Go sell your seat to strangers. Nobody who knows you would want your baby. I'll, uh, I'll leave you alone so you get changed. No, 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 please. What? <clears throat> this is so weird. I mean, here I am waiting for some guy to give me the most precious gift of my life. Well, I don't think there's anything weird about it. Really? No. No, when I was in medical school, I knew a few guys who donated sperm, um... For money, just a little bit. They made a little bit of money. They did it for the money? Oh, excuse me, they made a few bucks, but I, I think they did it more for helping people. You know, like giving blood. You get from one person to another to help somebody in need. Did I tell you I went to the bookstore? Are you starting to read now? Oh, very funny. <laughs> no, the, the kids section, you know. Uh, try to get a, a book about... Well, for a mother. Uh -huh. How to explain things. What things? Birds, birds and birds. Oh, those things. Okay. And there were these books on... Uh, children and being supportive and adoptive kids and mixed families and, and that was it what, what am i gonna say to this child when they ask you tell them that any child who chooses you as a mother gets the greatest really really Liza, you're a beautiful woman you're very smart you're a business tycoon. I'm single and I'm divorced. No, 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 no. You are experienced. Sporting Adam Chandler's Adam, you, you, Adam didn't win, Liza. You won. After your divorce, you could have you could have given up on everything, but you didn't. He wanted you to. Adam, gosh, he walks all over people. He crushes the life out of him, then he just leaves. But you walked out on him. You left him. And now you want to give your life, your love to another soul. It's, it's very special. And when it comes time for your child to ask, where did I come from? How was I conceived? You, you tell them. Very simply, they were conceived in love. Your love. I think I needed to hear that. Time is it? No, no, 
tell me. You need to relax. I'm relaxed. I don't look relaxed. Uh, uh, Could you please give the guy, give him a girly magazine or something? Miss Colby, what's wrong? Well, maybe the incubator fuel is running a little low. Slowpoke in there may not think that this is a major problem. But why don't you remind him that a dead egg is an unfertilized egg if you just let him know this? What? I'm sure it won't take much longer. Now, why don't you put on your gown so you can be ready for the procedure, all right? Just be a minute. Thank you. I'll tell you, I cannot pay anybody to get me pregnant uh, in this town. Why don't you change and, um, hopefully 517 will be here very soon. I know he will. Just relax. All right? your dad. Didn't he play coach? You remind me of my dad. I do? Did my chiseled features or my princely demeanor? Papa cheats at cards, but he still loses. He, um, he gambled away a fortune in my family. It took centuries to amass. He loves women so much. He's married half a dozen and greatest love of his life he still sees every day. In the mirror. He's a rat in every way. And you remind me of him. Are you decent? Yeah, you can come on in. There's nothing happening that way. Yeah, uh, no sign of old 517. No, you, you were out there. Did you see anything? Mm. The door was shut tight. I didn't see you know, anything. What happens if my temperature drops and then and they can't perform the procedure or if the donation after they've tested isn't any good, if there even is a donation? I haven't come this far to not even have a chance. I understand. You just need to relax, So You've got 24 to 48 hours that you're going to be ovulating. You still have time to pull this thing off. <sighs> Success! Let the testing begin. I don't, I don't have time you to have start time. You have plenty these... of time. Now close your eyes. Close your eyes, please. Thank you. Try to relax. Take a deep breath. Deeper. Good. Now I want you to visualize something, uh, a leafy bower, a green leafy bower full of trees and moss and, and ferns. It's a perfect time to start a new life. Relax. Think of your egg right now. It's so in the mood for company that it's baked a cake, set the table, laid out a welcome mat. I'm ready. <laughs> You're very sweet. <laughs> Everything checked out, didn't it? We can use the sample you provided, yes. So, let's see the color of your money. It'll be a few moments, Mr. Lavery. In a few moments, Mr. Lavery is going to have some bills paid. Oh, come on. Am I too late? Where's Liza? You can't go in there. You got my check? Oh, you don't understand. This is an emergency. I've got to go in there. I've got to see Liza Colby. I can't believe this. It's, it's going to happen, isn't it? Have a minute. Jake, hmm? will you stay close? Of course. Remember the leafy bower, the fuzzy clouds, the babbling brook, mm -hmm. and the dancing bear. The dancing bear? Yeah. Y los tres pescados felices. <laughs> what? The three happy fish. You get a little strange when you're around me, don't no, you? No, 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 no. It's all uh, when I was sailing out the Galapagos several years ago. I noticed off the port side. Let's get grouping started, of... shall we? Sure. Oh, oh, stop, stop. Hold everything. Don't do anything. How did he get in here? Oh. 
We had their Please, please tell me it's not too late. I don't need I you mean, here, too. I mean, it hasn't too. happened yet, has it? No, it hasn't. Oh, but I'm not taking good. responsibility Ooh, for you. This is God private. Thank God I got here in time. This is big. This is private, so let's go. No, 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 no. You don't understand. I'm not here to spectate. I'm here to avoid absolute disaster. Who is he? This is my brother. Up until about 30 seconds ago, he was my closest friend. I'll take care of him. What? We have a limited window of opportunity oh, here, people. Right. The clock is sorry. ticking. What the hell do you think you're doing? Yeah, what What gives? Actually, on the arms bay. This is not the way you want to have a kid. This is my way. This is the way I'm doing it. It's no, gonna no, no, happen. You don't understand. You cannot no, do Dr. this. No, Dr. Fisher, I'm doing it. No, you can't. Jake, take the crazy I will. Man let's go. Here. No, no, no. Do you have any idea where those sperm came from? Dad, I passed biology. Okay. Payment for a job well done. My check? Oh, I don't handle that. Donor 517 is intelligent oh, and gorgeous. Cool. He has an IQ of 140. He has more degrees than all of us Not put to together. mention completely lacking in ethics, scruples, or moral principle. Who gives you the right to come in here? Will this you moment? shut up? Oh, I'm trying to tell you I know who 517 is. What? Yeah, he's tall and blonde and gorgeous and blue-eyed. He's also a completely self-serving con man and thief. Not to mention vain, shallow. Think about it, Liza. Pine Valley's not that big. Can't be. Yeah. Liza. Mm? Brian Lavery? 517 is Brian Lavery? He's right outside. Uh. Are you 517? How'd you know about that? Oh my God! What is the problem here? Are you donor 517? Bad fashion choice, or are you undercover for this story? Ah, oh, don't be coy, you buff twinkie. You know exactly why she's here. Yeah, research. What's it to you? Noise level. Just out of curiosity, how did you manage to set this up? Why don't we just take it back inside? No, no, no. no, no, no I really want to know. Just for my edification. Oh, 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 Blackmail? Is that oh. what you were going to do? Wait, wait, wait. Just wait. Liza? No. No. This clinic promised me the epitome of perfection, the gold standard. Little mama, congratulations! Oh, shut up, you idiot. Idiot? What are you talking? You read my profile on Practically in Mensa. Oh, somebody ought to have you fixed. Oh, there you are, Ryan Lavery. Jillian, what are you doing here? I'm looking for you, you... Sexual Johnny Appleseed. What? Look, I'm just trying to make some money here. Don't give me a hard time, all right? Oh, yes. You're so busy with your stat services that you didn't teach me, and therefore I didn't get the weather person job. Oh, I thought I told you all about that. I would have put your weather on the map. I cannot believe the day I'm having. Jillian, you will never, ever, ever get within 50 feet of a weather map. Is that clear? You talk to me in such a way. Dress like this, you fashion victim. And you, Ryan Lavery, will never, ever, ever be the father of any child of mine. You? He, no. Take a good look. She's wearing a fertility frock, you genius. What gives with you? Why pass up the chance of being the mother of a genetically flawless child? It's not like I'm some necklace geek. I mean, come on. I'm the perfect specimen of the male species here. You are the last man on this earth who should ever procreate. Hey, just because I'm not your cup of tea doesn't mean I'm not perfect for lots of other ladies. You have the morals of an eel, Ryan. Well, there's nothing wrong with eels. I mean, come on. Who says I gotta, I gotta be Moses coming down off the mountains? I don't raise these children. I'm just the building supply guy. Well, you're not supplying me. Well, you don't deserve my husband's bodily essence. You've never appreciated his true worth. You don't deserve his riches. I think that you should get me out of here before I, I commit a double homicide. Excuse me, Dr. Fisher wonders if you'd like to go forward with the procedure. <laughs> Not in this lifetime. W was there some problem? Your screening procedures are ridiculous. Look who got through. This thief and this liar. If not for misguided mercy, he'd be up the river doing five to ten. Unfounded allegations, innocent on all charges. As if. Look, let's go back in time. I wonder if we could get you a job as a palace eunuch. Please forgive me, Liza. I so wanted to be there for you. It didn't happen. It didn't? No. Why not? Toxic gene supply contaminated. Oh, you mean the poor man couldn't? No, no. Demon seed just doesn't come up on the computer, Mother. Oh, good Lord. Listen, excuse me. I want to get a glass of water, darling. I'll be right back. You all right? 
Yeah, just give me a couple of months. Liza, I'm, I'm really sorry. It's not your fault. Oh, I just thank God Tad got there when he did. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. It could be worse. How? Well, you could have found out about Ryan after you were pregnant. Could I, could I have a hug? Oh, yeah. Oh, thanks. Sure. Well, my pleasure. You no. know what's funny? What? I really thought this was going to be like the greatest day of my life. I, I didn't even have a fantasy about walking away from there, not pregnant. Well, honey, it's, it's, it's not over yet. I, mean... I just really, really wanted a baby. I think I realized that today. You know, when this baby does finally arrive, mm -hmm. it's going to be one lucky kid. Liza, you okay? No. <laughs> I am lousy. Go to a clinic, Liza. Get an anonymous sperm donor, Liza. That'll solve all your problems. You know, you're a great problem solver there, Ted. This was the most humiliating and degrading and embarrassing moment of my life. Hey, I stopped the procedure. <laughs> I can never go the clinical route again. Do you understand that? I was almost impregnated by the sperm of Ryan Lavery. I mean, Ryan Lavery. Can you fathom the repulsion? How, how degraded that I feel? Look at the bright side. You can't be matched up with him again. Dad, how can I ever be 100% sure? Don't be hysterical, okay? The, the, the clinic threw out his file. He's gone. He's history. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah, it could just be some other type of Ryan or somebody worse. They don't do background checks on these guys. They probably make up their own bios. Yeah, well, they, they need to do away with this anonymous donor policy. It's ridiculous. It's impossible. It's the way the clinics operate. Well, obviously she needs a safer, more secure route. Such as? Such as? Me. I could be the donor. What a splendid idea, Jake. You, you, would, you would do that for me? Be the sperm donor? Yeah, absolutely. Why? Why? Well, Lavery didn't pan out. You can't do the anonymous donor route anymore. I'm healthy, not genetically challenged as far as I know. That is the sweetest thing that anyone has ever offered to do for me. I mean, you know that it would be my child, though, right? Yeah. Why of course. It? Let's not start laying down the ground rules just yet. The negotiations are just beginning. Negotiations? Mother, Jake, how much would you charge for this? Nothing. No, it's just, um... Uh, okay. What? I mean, you know, I, and, and I would expect any other donor to know that there were no paternal rights. That, that's non-negotiable. No, th that's no problem. You laid down all the rules. Really, really, I told you before, I had friends in med school that did this to, to pay their bills. They didn't think twice about it. It's no big deal. You really okay with this? Yeah, Liza, what, what do you think I can't be the godfather? Oh, no, I'm, I'm okay with it if, if you're okay. No, I can handle it. You sure? Because maybe you need some time. You know, just to think about it. Absolutely good idea. I think we should give Jake some time to think about it right now, in fact. Like, maybe, maybe out in the hall. What the hell are you doing? I was just about to ask you the same question. What? what the hell is wrong with you? Did you fall on your head? How can you possibly make an offer like that? You've done some dumb things in your time, but this is without a doubt the... You've made a wonderful decision. I mean, Jake Martin, oh, what a choice specimen of Homo sapiens, darling. I mean, those sculptured biceps and that gluteus maximus. <laughs> Are you dating an orthopedic surgeon or a Latin scholar by chance, Mother? Darling, you mustn't let this one get away. Uh, Mother, you said the exact same thing about Ryan Lavery, that he was this perfect male... I would love to know who keeps stealing my pencils. We didn't know Ryan's lineage or genealogy, darling. I mean, the Martins are the most respected and finest family in Pine Valley. Actually, it's the Tylers, according to Phoebe Wallingford. Well, Chuck and Lincoln aren't available, darling. So who better to be the father of your child than a Martin? Liza, did you hear what I said? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Jake, Jake and I will make a beautiful baby together. And brilliant. I mean, you're a lady executive and he's a doctor from a long line of doctors. I mean, the baby will be a Nobel Prize winner or maybe ambassador to the court of St. James. <laughs> maybe even president one day. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Well, I would. I can't wait to be a grandmother, darling.
We can go on shopping sprees in New York, and I'll even help you set up a nursery. Darling, what are you doing? I don't think I'm going. I'm cracking my finger. Curve. What for? I want to see if I'm still ovulating. But you took that home test. You know that you yes, are. Yes, Mother, I did. Well, you know what? Forgive me for being a little insecure. I just want to see if I still have the green light. But Liza, shouldn't you do that in the morning? No. Please. Liza, have you, have you seen Stuart? I can't find him anywhere. Are you sick? I'm fine. Then why are you taking your temperature? And why are you standing in my office questioning me without an appointment? But well, excuse me, I'm looking for my brother. He's been missing for over 24 hours. And that, that lunatic Camille is on the loose. Stuart is missing? Yes, hello. I would like to report a missing person, please. His name is Stuart Chandler. Don't be an idiot. But I... Although in your case, that's asking the impossible. I told you to never speak to my mother like that. I'm only trying to help. I don't need your help to protect Stuart. I have enough trouble protecting him from you. Shouldn't the police be called about this? The police couldn't find a puddle in her instance. How is my mother supposed to know? And still, you're yelling at her. Get out of my office. And if I don't? <laughs> don't push me. Because I am in no mood, Adam Chandler. Liza, I'm all yours if you still want me. What the hell is he talking about? Hi, Adam. Nice to see you, too. Are you two carrying on again? Uh, now, him. First it was Tad. I have had just about enough of your questions. If you don't leave, I'm going to call security. Oh, fine. I wash my hands of the lot of you. That was fun. Yeah, regular laugh riot. So, about us. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay with it, if you're okay mm -hmm. with it. Yeah, I, I, uh, not this month, though. I have to be screened by the folks at the fertility clinic first. I was afraid Ted might have changed your mind. Oh, no. no. Ted doesn't make my decisions for me. Like I said, I am all yours. Next month, or the month after, or the month after that. Whatever it takes. I can't believe you're gonna make me a mother. Thank you. Yeah. And in column two, my figures are up in tens and in thirties. Plus, the clearance rate is up 20% over last year. And we're over quota in all of our long-term contracts. I would say that these figures are bonus worthy. Actually, anywhere else they may be. Grease my palm and July will fly. No, uh, no July. I have to let you go. And you can pick up your check at Human Resources on your way out. On the way where? Out. Sorry. But these numbers are unbelievable. These numbers what? are not good enough for WRCW, Ryan. I'm sorry. You're just not up to the job. Wait a second. Wait a damn second. I know exactly what's going on. No, you don't. The world does not revolve around Ryan Lavery and his bodily fluids. What does that mean? You have nothing. All right, look, this conversation is going nowhere. I've, I've told you that the department is working on it, Adam. What, what in, your, in, in their sleep? She's been missing for five days now. Anyone in my family could be her next target. If she is the proper suspect, yes. Yeah. Oh, well, who else do you have? Who? I have nobody else, Adam. Yes, you'd have no one else because it's Camille, Jack. We've been over this. Time and time again. Let's try it one more time. Watch my lips. A, we have no proof that Camille is a killer. Find her. Question her. You might learn something and that B, way. there are other police matters that the Pine Valley Police Department need to look into besides this one. Have you told... Are we clear now? Have you told your police department that she was a magician's assistant and a disappearing act is her specialty? No, Adam, I decided to keep that all to myself. Of course I... I'm not going to do this with you. I will let you know if we find her. No, not if, Jack. When? When? I want Camille Hawkins behind bars, and I want her there now. Stuart, where in the devil have you been? You don't have to worry about Camille, Adam. She's harmless. Well, that's one subject that we will never agree on, so let's just drop it. You sent the district attorney after her. That's not dropping it. I heard you. I did what I had to do. You're all head up over Camille. 
She couldn't hurt anyone, not in a million years. You're dangerously naive where Camille is concerned. But it doesn't matter. Just, uh, when I saw Camille, she was packing to leave Pine Valley for good. When you saw, you saw her. It's all right. Heck, while you've been looking for her, I've been hiding her. Holy asinines. Camille Hawkins has been stalking our family for months, and you take her in like a long lost puppy. Are you an idiot? Dad, don't speak to Uncle Stuart like that. How long did you keep her up at the cabin? Since the night she ran out of the hospital, the night Scott got her. I'm getting the police up there, by the way. She's not there anymore. Um, she, uh, I checked this morning, she boarded up the cabin just like she promised. Dad, chill. Do you realize what you've done? Uncle Stuart did what he thought was best. And what does it matter about Camille? She's gone. Damn it, Stuart. First you fall in love with the busiest tramp in the state. And now... You've got your new friend, who is a psychopath who's trying to wipe out our entire family. Could you possibly, possibly have done anything dumber? All right, that's enough, Uncle Adam. This is completely unacceptable. It's not open for debate. What's the matter, Liza? Eyeballs glued to the paper? You can't even look at me when you fire oh, me? Of course I can. I'm your top salesperson. Double-digit increases over a year ago. You're also a liar and, and a cheat. And you are embarrassed because you almost had the great good fortune to be the mother of my child. That is not true. A little touchy, are we? As a former employee of WRCW, I suggest you leave the building now. Look. Okay, we don't have to be embarrassed about this. I'll still be your top salesperson, and you'll still be the boss. Lady. And you're still fired. Why? Demon seed? My work would stand up at any station on the air. You and I both know that. Fine, I took some kickbacks, okay? But that's done. Why? Because I'm paying for it in a year-long marriage with Princess Perfect. There's no excuses here, Liza. None. You cannot let me go. This is my station. It's my ball. Go play somewhere else. Then that's it. Yeah, that's it. I'm sorry. That's the way it has to be. I'm sorry, too. I tell you, I sure hate to go this route. What route? The charges, the counter charges, the publicity. What publicity? The deluge when I sue you for sexual harassment. You're bluffing. This need to have a baby, a desire unfulfilled, started out so perfectly, didn't it? But then the dream began to twist. Soon it turned into a nightmare. Station owner linked with former employee. Linked? What exactly are you talking about? Did I mention I sat on a jury recently? I know the inner workings of a trial. You'll watch as my lawyer enters the courtroom and he'll slam the June report down in front of you. Miss Colby, he'll say. It's obvious you didn't fire this young man because he made you money. There must have been something that came between the two of you. Made you want to let him go. He's a lying cheat. A man that donates his sperm so a woman can have a child. Does that sound like a man with no character? You know, I'm not playing this game with you anymore. Answer the question, Miss Colby. What kind of boss requests her employee's sperm? Requests? You repeatedly asked him for his sperm, and when he said no, you fired him. I turned you down. That's the way you see it. But upon serious reflection, I'm thinking it was the other way around. It wasn't. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you decide. I'm going to go empty out my desk and get myself an attorney. Unless you want to sell this right now. Avoid having to sell this whole place to come up with the millions of dollars that the jury will reward me. I'll let you think about it for a while. Ryan, 
I don't do blackmail. Been there, done it, done it way better than you. Unbelievable. Is there anything that you haven't done first? You're out of your league. Okay. This whole thing is a little awkward. It is, but it's not like it was a plot against you. My clinic visits were, were, were acts of charity. I was getting paid. I need the money. My wife and I have expenses coming out of everywhere. And now thanks to your mad scene at the clinic, they fired me too. So you're broke. I'm worse than broke. Okay, my wife has got a $10 a day cappuccino hat. She, she's got a haute couture monkey on her back. Liza, I could be valuable to you, all right? I, I, my God, I would do, there's nothing I wouldn't do to stay on the RCW gravy train, absolutely nothing. I've got no morals, I've got no scruples, I'm your dream employee. Work with me here. You want a yes man? I'll learn how to say it in a hundred different languages. A salesman? What, a henchman? My God, you want me to get on my knees and beg George Clooney to be the father of your child? I'll do it. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll never say fertility clinic again. Just please, please don't cut out my cash flow. I'm waiting for an apology. Well, you can go ahead and wait. In the meantime, start treating my father with a little bit of respect. Uh, Scott is right. How dare you speak to Uncle Stuart like that? Everybody just calm down. Ranting and raving is the only way Adam has to deal with his anger. It's, it's never really worked for him, but uh, it's all he's got. Dad, do not apologize for him. Yes, you are completely out of line. He's protecting the woman who's out to get us, and I'm out of line. Camille is a lost soul, Adam. She's a would-be serial killer. An electrocution, a, 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 an elevator ride through hell, and an explosion. You were almost killed. All of you. That wasn't Camille. It was somebody else. I'm leaving. Good. This is your house. I'm going back to Pigeon Hollow to make an attempt to put our sister back in her grave and make sure my son is well protected. There will come a day when I've jailed Camille, when you will all thank me for finding out that she and she alone was responsible for these attacks on our family. Dad, wait. Please. This is not good for your blood pressure. Well, I'll see what I can do about that. Listen, listen. After you take care of Junior and Dixie, please, I'm asking you for me to come to the grand reopening of holidays. The whole family's going to be there, and, and you're going to be our secret guest of honor, because without you, none of it would have been possible. Wait a minute. Were you in a coma along with Mateo? Did, did you miss everything that went on back then? Uncle Adam, your people skills stink. Well, Mr. Congeniality, what do you think is going to happen if this whole family gets together in one room on the 4th of July? Or any other day, for that matter? Dad, will you please chill out? On a slab in the morgue? Look at yourself. Just look at you. Veins bulging out of your neck. Your blood pressure is probably skyrocketing. Now, please, I am begging you, give up this Camille obsession before it eats you alive. Now, I'm going to save the lives of everyone in this sorry family if it kills me. Come on. Take pity on a poor, almost out of work salesperson. I'm begging you, let me serve you. I'm going to hate myself for saying this. You can stay. Yes. You are never, ever going to mention sperm again. Done. And you will never, ever tell anyone that we were at that clinic at the same time. What about George Clooney? No. You're not going to say anything about any bodily fluids, blood, saliva, nothing. Do you hear me? Absolutely. I've got complete respect for your privacy and respect for you. I always have. But after this morning, Man, I just gone up a thousandfold. I would never cross you after after seeing the maneuvers that you wowed me with in in this Olympus-like auditorium. You are the Sultan of Swindle, the Guru of 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 great. My God, I thought I was an adept scam artist, but you, all right. lady, all right, you all right, all right. Enough of the flattery. You're sucking the air out of the room. I'm suffocating. I mean it, though. It's obvious you want something. Other than your job, what is it? Would I be that greedy after grabbing a hold of the employment ladder by one flimsy rung? In a word, yes. So spill it now. 
Damn, you are good. I could never pull anything. Would you just say it? Please, please. I was wondering if my wife could have the weather person job. Jillian? Come on, the pay is good. She'll be a tune-in. I would rather close and lock the station. She'd be great. She'd be stinky. No one could understand what she was saying. We'll use closed captioning. For the Hungarian impaired. Okay, there's a little bit of a language barrier there, but you got to admit, she's absolutely gorgeous. Next to you, she's the most gorgeous oh, oh, woman. Oh, oh, you know what? Get out of here before I start to think that my little moment of weakness was mistaken. mistake and fire you all over again. I'm gone. But think about Jillian. It's revolutionary. A weather person that, 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 that doesn't speak English and nobody can understand. Kind of like female version of Desi Arnaz. They play congas and... Ouch! Okay, okay. Come Hi. Did you talk to Jake? Did, did he tell you about his offer? Oh, I got the news all right. 